Hello everyone, my name is Basket Lockerball and welcome to the video. Guys, welcome to another Extreme Challenge. A few months ago on my first ever Extreme Challenge, somebody commented asking if I would do a Cinnabon Challenge. That sounded absolutely brilliant. And that's just what we're going to do today. Now I've seen a lot of other Cinnabon themed challenges on YouTube. People going out and ordering a six pack or 10, 12 Cinnabon rolls and seeing how fast they could eat them. That all seems well and good and everything, but I like a lot of variety in my challenges. I like a lot of different foods. And it turns out there are quite a few different Cinnabon and cinnamon roll themed products out in stores. So I went out and I got some Cinnabon rolls, of course, but I also got some other delicious Cinnabon and cinnamon roll themed products. And that is going to be today's extreme challenge. Guys, I hope you're ready, because this is going to be one ridiculously sweet challenge. Here we go. Alright guys, and we got all our delicious Cinnabon food right here in front of us. I am super excited for this. Let's go down the line and I'll tell you what I got. First and foremost, of course, I went to Cinnabon and got some cinnamon rolls. I got a six pack of their cinnamon rolls. Three of their classic rolls and three of their caramel pecan bun rolls. So take a good close up of that. You can see the pecan ones in the front, the classic rolls in the back. Oh, they smell so sweet and delicious, guys. Oh my goodness. Now a couple of these aren't official Cinnabon products, but they're cinnamon roll themed, so I figure it works. First, we got the cinnamon roll toaster strudels. Of course, we gotta have some cereal. We got the Pillsbury Cinnamon Roll Fillows Cream Filled Cereal. Now, this has been out for a while, but I think they might have stopped making it because I had to drive 40 minutes to a Walmart. They were the closest ones to have it, but I'm super excited that I was able to find it and include it in this challenge. Now, a bit of an unexpected item, we got some Cinnabon Cream of Wheat. Now, there's 10 packets in here. I'm not going to eat all 10, but I'm going to make three packets up and we'll include that in the challenge. Then another not official Cinnabon product, we got Legendary Foods Blueberry Cinnamon Roll Almond Butter. I absolutely love peanut butter. This stuff is amazing and I can't wait to spread it on some of this other delicious Cinnabon themed products. It's going to be awesome. Now the final item and one that I was waiting to come out before doing this challenge we got the Cinnabon ice cream from Briars. Oh yes! Guys, this is a brand new item. It came out recently and I have been waiting patiently for it to be released and it's finally here and I am so excited for this challenge, guys. All right, well, before we get started, I actually have a little bit of cooking to do. I gotta make up these toaster strudels and cook up this three packets of cream of wheat then we'll get started so stay tuned guys alright guys I think we are just about ready to get started here I got my toaster strudels heated up I got my three packets of cream of wheat and I used almond milk and not water got the cinnamon rolls laid out nicely for you oh, they just look fantastic these cinnamon rolls have been sitting out for about eight hours so they're not bakery fresh I ain't got time to be heating all six of these up, no thank you, but I'd like to reheat one of them just to really try to get that authentic bakery fresh Cinnabon taste. So I'm going to pop one of them in the microwave quickly and then we'll get started. So stay tuned. Alright guys, and I warmed up one of the delicious cinnamon buns. and I'm just going to place that right back there. Okay guys, it's at this point in the video I'll let you know the stats 
for this entire Cinnabon challenge. I'm going to put that right about there for you guys. Now this will probably be one of the messiest challenges I'll ever do just because the cinnamon rolls are just there's icing and glaze everywhere. I've been trying to figure out how I want to do it. I got a fork and knife. I also got some gloves. I got a ton of paper towels. We'll see what happens. Before we get started though, I'm going to put this ice cream back in the freezer because I just don't want it to melt before we get to it. But it will be back. So, excuse me a minute. Alright guys. I think the time has come. My friends, my fans, my family, this is the Cinnabon Extreme Challenge. I'm hungry. I'm happy. Let's eat. Start a timer for fun as always. And let's put it right there. I think you can see that. I think I am going to break out the gloves for the cinnamon rolls just to keep my hands a little clean. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Look at all that luscious, delicious caramel and frosting, icing glaze on there. You can see the glaze on the bottom. Oh, just looks decadent and amazing. All right, now this is my first time trying Cinnabon. Let's do it. Ooh. Oh my goodness, that is so sweet and delicious. Wow. That's so good. That is so good. Okay, first impressions, wow, Cinnabon totally lived up to the hype. That was way better than I expected. That was amazing. Wow, I can't believe how good that is. Dude, holy cow. If you've never had Cinnabon before, you need to go get some Cinnabon. That's incredible. All right, now this one is the Caramel Pecan Bun. It's the same as their classic roll, except they put caramel and pecans on top of this one. So, let's try it out. Okay, that caramel pecan bun. Oh, amazing as well. It's, it's distinctive. It doesn't taste like the classic roll. They put just the right amount of caramel and pecans on it to give it a different flavor, but still absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to really enjoy these, but before we continue with these, why don't we do some cereal. Now this is a family size box and I believe there's over 2700 calories in this box. Unique bag. I don't really smell too much. Empty. Okay, you know me. We gotta try the cereal plain first. Alright, not too impressed so far, but that's why we got milk. While the milk is fermenting in the milk, why don't we try out the, one of the toaster strudels. And I got my packets of icing right here. Oh boy, oh man, oh, whoops. Here goes your toaster strudel with icing. properly now. There we go. That's how it's supposed to work. That's how you properly glaze your toaster strudel.
first impression on the toaster strudel, it tastes like a poor man's cinnamon roll. <laughs> Honestly. All right, what do you say we open up our legendary foods? Cinnamon bun almond butter. Now this is actually the one item that I've had before. Everything else I've never tried before. And it's na all natural ingredients and so it settles quite a bit. So you have to really get in there and try to stir it up nice. All right, now let's spread some of this, shall we? Right onto our toaster strudel. There you have it. All right, guys, all six toaster strudels are completed. This plate over here. All right, now let's dive back into our bowl of cereal. I'm really not impressed with this cereal at all. Imagine if Cinnamon Toast Crunch was like a few notches below. That's what this tastes like. Pass on it, I would say. All right, what do you say we mix some of our almond butter in with our cereal? Okay, I just want to quickly mention, even though they're, they've been finished, that was my first time trying out toaster strudels. Definitely better than Pop-Tarts, no question about it. All right guys, all of our cereal is done. Ooh, thank goodness. Very unimpressed with that cereal. Hard pass. Okay, next, why don't we do our cream of wheat hot cereal. Again, this is three packs. Mm, that has a nice light cinnamon flavor. That's it for our cream of wheat. <clears throat> Not too impressed with that either. We got a little bit of almond butter left in that. I think I'm going to save it for possibly the ice cream. All right, we just passed 28 minutes. All right, now let's move on back to the main event, the Cinnabar Cinnamon Rolls. Oh, man. So gooey. Oh, look at that. All right. All right, guys, we got two rolls left. Definitely better warmed up, no question. Ugh. Ooh, and it goes very well with milk. We got two Cinnabons left, the rest of this almond butter, and of course, we got our ice cream that's in the freezer. So, I think I'm gonna take these two, reheat them, go get the ice cream. I'll be right back. I'm gonna keep this running. So there's no funny business. Stay tuned. All right, got my gloves ready. Two rolls left. Nice and warm. Let's continue. Should 
sugar is starting to hit me now, which is a little surprising, but uh, all right, let's start with this. Six Cinnabon are done. Oh, 46 minutes. All right. I said just in case I need it, and I think I might need it. Let's pour out some of the coffee here. Ooh. Oh, that bitterness is very nice. enjoy a bitter taste so much right now. <clears throat> oh wow, that is very, very nice right now. Here you have it. All right, now, cinnamon roll flavor with other natural flavor, cinnamon swirl and dough pieces. See if we can't finish off our almond butter here. That's it for our almond butter. Guys, ice cream is done. Fifty-eight minutes, fifty-five seconds. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That was the Cinnabon Extreme Challenge. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a like to let me know so. And if you have any ideas for future food challenges, or cheat days, or a certain type of food, please comment below. That's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. I love doing food challenges. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you. With that, this is Basket Locker Ball signing off. Peace.